So the mindset is people think that digital provides targetable audiences in scale like nobody else in any other media can do, and that's just a falsity. If you think about what television can do and has done from day one since its inception is bring consumers to the forefront of whatever brand you're trying to market. What digital has done really well is being able to itemize and quantify and literally qualify who those people are, what they're doing, how they're behaving, and therefore that medium becomes interesting. First it was banners and buttons and static display, then they advanced to bring video. When you have video, suddenly you're comparing yourself to Wigman. This is just like television. But the screens are far smaller, the attention span is far less. So when you think about sight, sound, and motion for television, it's unsurpassed. To be able to relay your message, your value proposition, to your constituents, you need that ability to relay that message in 15, 30, or even 60 seconds. With digital video or with mobile devices, nobody has, you have the attention flat span of a, a fly. Nobody's that interested. They want to get right to the content. The US public and around the world, TV viewers, have it in their DNA. They, they wait for the ads to finish. They know their content's coming back. They have that patience built in, and they understand the economics of why ads work. And if they're really good, if you have great content, they'll engage with those, more so than any other medium. People are starting to listen. They're not being you know, dismissive of these advancements, or they're not referring it back to, I remember back in the early 2000s when digital ad networks came into play and how they commoditized all the buying and selling of digital media. They're not associating it in a negative way. They're really starting to recognize, hey, there's something here. I don't quite understand it, so I can't necessarily embrace it. But if they can embrace it, and some of them as they begin to, then they become to evangelize it. And that's the job I find myself in, is taking somebody who doesn't really understand it, and say, let me educate you, I'll take through the basics. And as you embrace it, you recognize, hey, this could work for me. Then you start talking more and more about it. You have very high expectations, and you should have good tenants in terms of how you want to operate from transparency of understanding where your money's going, what media you're getting access to, and how quickly and efficiently that can happen. So when I think about it, and, and what gets me excited is more and more people are starting to see that, and see that in a, in a favorable way, in a constructive way, and it becomes more than additive. And suddenly the industry will recognize, hey, programmatic is not a bad term, it's just a methodology of doing something that I've always done before. Now I'm leveraging technology and the computers and the, the ability to reach these targeted audiences in scale in a very easy way. What has changed for me is acknowledging that when targeting and the capability of reaching consumers, one-to-one -one marketing, as they called it back in the day, was so important. And everybody, if you couldn't do that, then you didn't have the capabilities or the advancements or really become a sophisticated marketer. I began to realize that, you know, targeting and hyper-targeting, it's interesting, it's kind of cool in a way, but it's not that cool because it's not that scalable. When I think about it, I say, wow, that's kind of neat. You can do that? You know, so you walk away with 12 people that know or are very interested in your product. Again, that doesn't move the needle for you as a ma national or mass marketer. You need, to, and so I, I recognize that hyper-targeting is a nice to have, but it really isn't from an economics perspective or a business modeling perspective, not necessary. You know, from a business to business perspective, I love providing solutions for these marketers. Convincing them and showing them by example that, hey, this works and this is how it worked for you. Let's do third party research, let's show you brand lift, brand recognition, recall, whatever it may be in terms of whatever your metrics are as a marketer, I can show you it works when you use our model. On a personal level, I love to see our technologists come up with new ways or methodologies to say, hey, this is a really cool way to measure this or transpose something and bring it to the forefront of the industry. And when you see that kind of blossom in the marketplace, both internally with our teams and then externally as we talk to agencies and some of the advanced vendors and suppliers that are out there, that gets me excited.